Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Review. Out in the backyard here around the hop plants I got growing. Thought I'd give you a closer look, so I'm going to grab the camera, bring it in here and let you see what hop plants look like. Get you zoomed in here. That is a hop cone right there. This is Northern Brewer Hops. So if you could smell it, it smells pretty hoppy. So thought I'd like you to see what that looks like. But uh, getting back to the subject, beer reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Grimbergen. This is their double L or Dubel, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, this is from uh, the Browery Aiken Maze out of Jumet or Jumet, Belgium. I probably just butchered the hell out of all that, but that's an old country hick hillbilly. That's the best I can do for you, so... Uh, the style, like I said, is Dubel or double. It is 6.50 ABV. You're around serving from these guys. So if you can get this beer or their beers in your area, you should be able to get this one. Food pairings for this the cheeses are buttery, brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss, your know, pungent cheeses uh, like Gorgonzola and even Limburger. Uh, and the meat for this is beef. The glass wire is usually the goblet or chalice. I have a Dubel glass. Uh, that's what I'm going to pour it in tonight. So, the beer can be sold for extended periods. Um, 6.5, so I wouldn't keep it 10 years. So, <laughs> that being said, it's got a real nice cap. So, I'm going to try to keep this cap. Let me gently pry it off here without putting a bunch of bins in it. And get it in a glass. You think this ain't got a little foam on the inside that? So, this may produce a big head. So, I'm going to pour it fairly, fairly gently. It doesn't look too bad, so let's get more aggressive. All right. Very nice, very nice. I got us about a half finger head there. And into the light, it is a a ruby cola colored. I mean, it's almost like a cola or a, a dark tea. I can see right through the glass and see the bowl, but it's a fairly translucent, it's not cloudy at all. It is a cola or a reddish colored, maybe even a brandy colored, dark brandy color. So, But it is translucent, it is a fairly clear beer. So, Let's get a nose on it guys. Uh, I'm getting a little, a little yeasty smell there, or maybe a little grapefruit. Just a touch of banana. A lot of caramel malt and toffee in there too. Well, oh, smells pretty good. Let's give it a taste. What do you think, guys? Cheers. Very nice. Banana, grapefruit, a little bubble gumish in there. A little dark fruit in there. Uh, like I said, caramel, a little toffee. Pretty tasty. Got a little bit of the alcohol, but not much. I mean, Pretty pleasant. That's the first time I've had this beer, so uh, it's pretty nice. And of course, uh, it's got the it's got the code on the back where you can look it up, or if you know how to read the code, uh, it'll tell you how, what the date is on the bottle. So thumbs up for that. 
Very nice looking label. Very, very nice looking label. Eleven twenty eight. So I guess they've been doing this beer for a while. What do you think? Eleven twenty eight. Wow. That's just a couple years longer than I've been on this earth. What do you think about that, guys? It's a pretty nice beer. It's right out of the fridge. Uh, we're gonna let it warm up. It's about forty degrees, and uh, see what we end up with. But it's, it's, I believe it's above average beer here, guys. I don't know if it's quite to the A, but it's uh, pretty tasty. So we'll see what we end with. I'll be end up with. I'll be right back. So stick around. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass here. Been sipping on this probably about 30, 35 minutes or so, and it's it's warmed up nicely. I may say. Uh, I mean, this is a wonderful beer. I, I think it's a real good beer. It's got a lot of, it's got a little bit of nuttiness there, a little toppy, a little caramel, some dark fruit going on. Very, very nice. So, I'll watch out, guys. Yeah, I like it. Since 11:28, you reckon they know what they're doing? I think they do. Uh, guys, uh, I'm, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this a B plus. It's a seven on the scale tonight. Uh, not quite an A beer to me, but uh, pretty tasty. I enjoyed that beer quite thoroughly. Red beer has an 88 overall and 85 in the style, and uh, beer Abbey comes up with a B also. So, uh, yeah, like I said, it's a. It's an above average beer, guys, so if you've had this beer, let me know what you think of it. Uh, uh, if you liked it, didn't like it, can't get it, or if you've seen it, give it a try. I think you might like it, especially if you like the, the Dubell style. And like I said, uh, this, comes from, uh, this comes from across the pond there out of Belgium, so uh, it's, in a, it's a Belgian beer, so them guys know what they're doing over there. <laughs> give us comments back, as always, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll back tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. What do you think? See everybody there.